My name is Alan Hart and today I'm going to do a video and I'm going to ask you why you would solder copper pipe. So I have soldered copper pipe now for almost 30 years and there's lots of pluses and there's lots of minuses with soldering. Um, but I've now moved on to press, press fitting. Um, so I'm going to have a look at, I'm going to have a look at that. I'm going to try and answer some questions that, that people put um, in the groups as well. So one of the questions is, will it seal with no o-ring on press fit? So I'm going to look at that as well. And I'm going to try and, um, I'll find out, we'll find out. Um, I'll, I'll, pipe, um, I'll pipe a fitting up and we'll, we'll take the o-rings out and we'll crimp it with no o-rings in. And then we'll see, see if it, see if it fails. So, so yeah, so let's, let's have a look now. The first thing I'm going to do is I've put some clips on here and I'm going to um, solder, solder an elbow on there. So we've got his elbow, we've got to clean it up to start with, make sure that's nice and clean, get his pipe, clean his pipe up. Get another piece of pipe, clean that up, that and that. So we'll just put some flux on pipe. I always put a little dab in fitting just a just the tiniest bit. And then get that fitting on there. And then if we get his other bit of pipe. There. You notice to try try not to put too much too much on. And then, and then we need a mat now to go behind there. So we'll just get a soldering mat. And then we'll just get a blow lamp and a solder. Try and get your blow lamp to a small flame really. You don't want it, you don't want it big. You don't want it big like that. Just a just a small, small flame. And then try and try and point that away from the from the mat if you can. You can see there some flux is running down. You probably put a bit too much on there really. And then that's that's soldering, so we'll leave that now for a little while just to cool down. If we don't let it cool down, then the fitting can actually crack. So I'm just gonna leave that for a few minutes. So there quite a lot of fumes came off on that then, and this, this room now does it does smell of soldering. Also, we'd have to be careful with fire alarms and things like that if we're gonna be soldering. We'd then get a cloth and we'd clean this off best we can. And if we have a look on the back of there, I've put this solder in from the back and it's run down pipe. So you can you can try and clean that off best you can. Some people use like a drill end, etc. to do it, but normally that'd be on the back of the pipe and you don't you wouldn't see that. Now we'll look at press fitting. So again, we'll put a piece of pipe on. 
This time we don't really need to clean it up if it's newish pipe and if it's got a decent edge on there. Get us press fitting. So if you have a look at them, they've got um, an o-ring inside. A lot of people mention about o-rings. Now bearing in mind that almost every boiler we install has got hundreds of o-rings in nowadays. And O-rings um, in most commercial places, hospitals, etc. We're not allowed to use blow lamps, so we, we, we would have to press anyway. Um, and so, one of the questions people ask is, are they as reliable as soldering? I think they are. Um, they're proven for around 50 years, I believe. If I'm wrong, please add it in comments below. But I believe they've been out now for about 50 years. Um, so we just put this fitting on, slide it on, as easy as that. Now you can get a gauge, so some manufacturers have a gauge and you can mark this fitting with your gauge and then you just know that the, the fitting is fully on. So I'll just show you that now. So we can see that I've put a line on. So we know when we put this fitting in, we know that it's in and we know that it's not dropped out. When it's in place i would actually try as much as possible to press these off um but you can you can just as easily press them in place i'll just get a longer piece of pipe for that. Um, so again we would mark we would mark that piece of pipe and then when we look at this press gun, this one is 15 mil. It's a little bit, a little bit awkward to see because it's, it's worn off. We also have jaws. We have different jaws. This one, that's a 22 mil jaw. If we had to change the jaw, all we need to do on this Hilti machine, we just turn this, push this pin in turn it and very easily very very easy indeed and that's it so now we want to press this fitting again just double check it's all in and it's not dropped out and we just put this machine on if you have a look in there it's got some little imprints there some don't know if you can see that on camera but that goes around that part of the fit in there. We'll just pull that on and then very easy. And we just press that until it stops. And then that fitting now is all pressed on. And then the same again with this one. And that's it, that's how, that's how easy it is to use press fit. There's no mess, there's no muck going into your pipe, there's no risk of fire, there's no fumes. It's just so much easier. Uh, what we'll do now is I'll pipe up the, I'll pipe this up, I'll take the o-ring out, um, or we'll, we'll use a new fitting, but we'll take the o-ring out and we'll pipe it up now. So now I'm gonna try and answer some of the questions that people's asked. Now this, I believe is a little bit of an irrelevant um, question and the question was will it leak if it if there was no o-ring so what I'm going to do is go take o-ring out on this it's a 22 mil so we can see it better connect it on here and then we'll turn mains on and I'll actually leave it testing there's no no reason why not so I'll just take this o-ring out of here let's have a look so you just got your o-ring in there I'll just take that out purposes at video I'll just take, take both out so we've got no no o-rings I don't know if it leak or if it won't to be honest it's not something I've ever I'd ever do obviously we'd always have o-rings in so we'll connect this onto here just cut this a bit shorter
So as I said before, I'd try and press them off if I can. Yeah, I'll just change head on this. So it just puts 22 mil, 22 mil, millimeter head on, and then we'll just press that on there. And after we've done this, I'll, I'll have a look on computer and I'll see any other questions that people's asked as well. And I'll, I'll try my best to answer any questions I can. I'm just going to put a push fit stop end on top there. Turn it on, see what happens. So, in answer to the question, would it leak? Yes, it would leak. So, come in close and I'll show you now. So, as we can see, if we remove the O-rings, it'll leak. So I'll just take a quick look on computer now and we'll have a look at the other, other questions. I'm going to try and answer some of the questions that have been asked in some of the previous videos that I've done. Callum, this is a question from Callum and Callum asks, will the REMS, the REMS heads um, be compatible with the Milwaukee? Um, REMS, REMS are not compatible, I don't believe. You would be best to just um, give them a call and just check, but I don't, I don't think they are. These ones are the, the Gebret, the Gebret jars. Oh, yeah, Gebret jars. And these um, Nova Press, Nova Press jars really. And these are compatible with, you can fit these with the Hilti, the Milwaukee ones, um, the, the, um, uh, Gibbet 102, uh, 102 etc but again just check also one thing to check is the profile of the jaw so these jaws are M M jaws so you need to make sure that you get the right profile for the right fittings some fittings have a longer bit of metal on them um, they, they have a longer bit of metal on there and then you need different Different. I think they're. I don't know if they're Vega. I'm not sure. It's not. It's not. I don't. I don't install them. Um, dry slide. Um, Wayne. Wayne asks about dry slide. Um, who makes that, guys? Wayne. I've no idea. I'm sorry. I can't answer that any better. Um, Mark. Mark Russell asks. Um, where where do you find the best place to buy the fittings from? I at the moment I buy them from Spinx in Leeds, and they they they're the best price that I get, um, and I use Express fittings at the moment. So there's Express fittings and the there's the Gibbet fittings as well. Which the Gibbet ones are really good because they have they they have caps in in end of there, um, but I I found that these are just slightly cheaper. And they still do what I need them to do, so that's why I use these ones. Um, so sash window is sort of like made a statement. Um, the Rems guns are rubbish compared to the Gebret. I sort of agree with that, if I'm honest with you. Um, I won't say they're rubbish; they still do, they still do a good job. But I prefer, I prefer the. In fact, I actually prefer the, the Gebret one um, and the Milwaukee one to, to the Hilti one because it's slightly smaller and it's better for getting in. Th this is this is just this is it's a, it's good, but I did prefer the other one if I'm honest. Um, see if we've got any more questions. Um, so we'll look. Um, what about rigid? I've not used the rigid one, so I can't comment on that one. Um, 
and that, that's about it on there i think um i hope you found this video of some use please um ask me some questions below and if you could like this video i'd be, be very grateful thanks for watching